recording you guys. It's an early morning because I had to get my kids up to get them in the car because I'm dropping them off at their grandma's house. But we're heading to Starbucks to get a little treat before I do that. So we're up and it is only 6.06 .06 right now and we are headed to Starbucks. Hey, okay, can I get the bacon sausage egg wrap with sriracha? And then a pink cake pop, chicken bread warmed, and a grande iced chai latte with oat milk. Good morning, can I use stars for the wrap? Yeah, of course. I know it's a little early, but we're gonna choose like, like a pup cup for more cream. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, just two. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Those two thank pup cups. Right now. Awesome, thank you. It's kind of like ice cream. So here's your warm food, and then thank here you. is that. You're welcome. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Great day. You yeah. too. She was so nice. Bye bye. Too. Got the kids all dropped off. It's always like I've lived a first life before I live my second life where I work all day when I have to get the kids up and out of the house before 7 a.m. 7 a.m. as in that's when I start work. So now let's really drive to work. I got myself a chai latte. I also picked myself up a little egg wrap, so I'm gonna probably eat that when I get to work. Very fortunate that we have good babysitters and we also have some family help that help us watch the kids because it's really hard. I've talked about this many, many times to find good childcare when you work as a nurse, especially if you're a nurse that works 12 hour shifts. It's hard to find someone who's willing to watch your kids like from basically 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's a long day for them. It's a long day for you. It's tricky. Luckily, all sets of grandparents on both my husband and I side are local and we're able to use them occasionally to help watch the kids which is super nice and then they also enjoy it too i am a little bummed though because my daughter has a swim meet today not a swim meet a dive meet and i am going to miss it it's the only one that i'm missing out of like the six of them that she has so not too bad but it is kind of that first thing that i'm missing for her it is what it is it's part of the sacrifice of the job that i have and i know that it's really good that i'm showing her like that I can work hard and have a job that I love. So it is what it is. My last shift absolutely wrecked me. I was so tired afterwards and so tired the next day. So now I'm just back for more fun. I am supposed to be charge nurse for the next two shifts, but I am just wondering if I'm gonna be charge nurse or not. We've actually had a pretty low census, um, low amounts of patients in our ICUs. And so they've been canceling quite a few nurses, which is really not like my ICU at all. Usually we're looking for more nurses, not like overstaffed, but because we've had a low census, they haven't been utilizing all three charge nurses for each ICU. And so we'll see how this day is gonna go because I texted someone who worked yesterday. I said, hey, were they using charge nurses? And she said they were only using one over all three ICUs, which even though it's a low amount of patients compared to what we normally can take, it's still like overseeing 40 so patients as charge nurse. That's where I'm at today. Charge nurse over all the ICUs. I'm, I'm in for it, but it's all good. We'll get through it. Whenever I have my hard days, I don't tend to get too stressed and overwhelmed because I'm only one person. So I can only do as much as I can do and that's the best that I can do. And I just have to let the rest go because it is what it is. I saw a video from nurse Erica on here and I reposted it, but it was amazing. You have to go check it out yourself. It talks about like a typical day of being a nurse and how basically you can sum it up to being a nurse is being constantly interrupted with different tasks. And every time you're interrupted, it puts your patients at more risk for complications happening to them. That just is the nature of the job sometimes where we have to get interrupted. You need to take critical labs. You've got a family member that's upset. You have a patient crawling out of bed. You need to go waste with a nurse. I highly recommend you check it out. It was so good and so spot on and just about described every single shift that I've ever worked as a nurse. Okay, I'm at work. It's a little dark in here because I'm in a parking garage, but I hope I have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.